Hello, this is West Crow, and this is another YouTube Pagan Challenge, and this week is uh, week 23. The question is, uh, how important is your diet or magical use of food to you? First off, I don't really eat food for magical purposes or use food too often for magical purposes. I might make offerings every once in a blue moon. Um, I might have wine in a ritual every once in a while. If I use herbs uh, for consumption, I typically use them um, by their medicinal uses, not by their magical uses. I do use herbs for not for consumption in some r rituals or spells by the magical properties, but uh, not for consumption. Sometimes I put a little bit of intention, extra intention into making food every once in a blue moon, depending on what's going on, but uh, not a whole lot. I mean, every once in a while. Yeah. That all said, I would like to learn about herbs, um, mainly the medicinal uses, but also some of the more magical uses as well, the folklore behind them. It's something I'm slowly working on. Um, I'm not going to get it overnight. So I, and there's a few things I do know offhand, uh, just your basic things. Uh, I plan to, as I grow my garden, hopefully learn more about each thing I plant. I would like to have, I have uh, on my, on the railings on my, on my porch outside, I have uh, little pots. And uh, right now I have rosemary and oregano that survived the winter. I was going to plant some more stuff. I put some lemon balm and stuff out there, but it didn't grow. Um, so once we get our deck redone, I'll focus on getting all those planters. I think there's like one, two, three, four, five. There's about five planters out there that are a little long. Uh, so I can get a couple different types of herbs out there. And I, I do find that when they're out in the porch right there, because the, there's the porch and then right in here is the kitchen. So I just... It's easy to go out there, pick some fresh herbs, and throw them into uh, into the pot or whatever for cooking. So it would be nice to have a whole bunch of different herbs out there. I did have some thyme and some basil, but it didn't survive the winter. But the rosemary and the and the oregano did. And so far, they're handling the heat. Uh, they did start to wilt a little bit there. It was getting into the 30s for a couple days in a row, and so I, I gave them a bunch of water a couple times during the day, and they came back nice and strong. So that that's good. They have a little bit burnt leaves, but they'll 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 make it. Um, and I'm sure not everything on them will work on my porch because it's a very hot, sunny area in our yard. Um, some things will probably have to be grown in a more shady area, but I guess I could put the ones that like shade a bit more, like in between the oregano and the rosemary, so they shade something that likes shade more. I don't know. But all this stuff, like the companion planting and all that type of stuff, soil pH levels and stuff, that's all stuff I want to learn along with herbology. Um, I'd also like to, uh, maybe next year, the year after, have my own beehive and we're thinking of possibly planting a bunch of lavender. So it would be interesting to see if uh, bees that create honey primarily from a specific type of plant or if it tastes any different, I don't know. Maybe that's just sort of uh, wistful thinking. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think I've rambled a bit here for, for this week. Um, I don't really think about incorporating too much magical food into my diet. Um, I don't typically think of things I'm going to eat as magical. That said, I have said thanks for food I've had. I have, especially after you've done a long um, meditation or journeying. It's good to have some sort of food to ground yourself. I've done that, but for the most part, I don't really think of food in that way or use food in that way. Um, it doesn't cross my mind. <laughs> Anyways, bye.